As the crowd continues to file in, we get set to bring you another exciting game. Thanks for joining us. These two teams are ready to go, and it should be a great one as the Saints get set to take on the Packers. Welcome to the game. Al Michaels and John Madden here broadcasting live. So pull up a chair and relax because this is going to be a good one. You talk about a quarterback who can lead his team to victory. This guy has all the tools you look for. Great arm, pocket presence, and the ability to hit a receiver anywhere on the field. There's not too many like this guy, and we could see him put up big numbers in this one. Donald Driver makes a great target for him every game. I think most people in the league like to think that he's deceptively fast. That allows him to sneak past the defense for big gains. Now, whether or not he'll be able to against this defense is something we'll be paying a lot of attention to. And you can tell that defense is fired up and ready to go. I don't think we should keep him waiting any longer. Let's go to midfield for the coin toss. A much anticipated game ready to begin as we're lined up for the kickoff. Here's the kickoff team. We'll be kicking off to start the game. And this one's a short kickoff. From the 15. The offense heads out onto the field for the first time. Our EA Sports coach close up features two very unique coaches. Saints third year head coach Jim Hazlitt has a solid nucleus of talent on offense, anchored by an excellent running game, complemented by a smart mobile quarterback and fast wide receivers who can stretch the defense. Give it to the halfback, and he's tackled at the 29-yard line. Well, we looked at the first coach in our EA Sports coach close-up. Opposing him will be Packers head coach Mike Sherman, a native of New England who was on Mike Holmgren's staff here in the 90s, then went with Mike to Seattle before returning to become the head man in Green Bay. About a two-yard gain here. Melissa, is there an update? I asked Coach Sherman about his game plan. He mentioned that he was going to open up the offense and hopefully expose some weaknesses they discovered in the film room earlier this week. We'll see if they get it going here in the first half. Al? Thank you. That was Melissa Stark with the update from the sideline. Two, maybe three yards on the toss. Only one man in the backfield. Ball on the 33-yard line. Dropping back, another run. McAllister just squeaks by the first down marker. He picked up enough to convert for the first on that delayed handball. First and ten. Pressure coming. Tenacious pass rush on that play, John. Yeah, that's for sure. These guys can really get after the quarterback. Drops back, under pressure. Baja Biamila showed great speed in getting to the quarterback there. After you take a couple of hits like that, you learn not to hold on to the ball too long. Looking upfield. Breaks free of the defender. Look at that power. Picks up a nice game there, but he's cramping up. Looks like he's headed to the sideline. Blitz is coming. Gets the pass off right on time. I'll tell you, this has to be frustrating. Watch here, as it's a great situation for the defense. They think they've got him, and they're about to get the ball back. Then all of a sudden, he drops back the pass, and boom, they're moving the chains, and they're getting a whole new set of downs. Didn't get any help from his offensive line. It was just about impossible to run when you have guys in the backfield just as soon as you snap the ball. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Crosses it left. And he's brought down in the backfield by Harris. That play wasn't going anywhere except backwards. I'll tell you, sometimes the back needs to know when to just go down. 
because he's trying to make something happen that's not going to happen, and they end up losing a bunch of yards. There goes the run once again. Keeps his feet moving. Nice pickup on the ground, maybe about six. Only one man in the backfield. Ball on the 49 yard line. And this is the 12th play of this drive. Throwing. He finds his man. So the defense comes up big on a very interesting decision to go for it here in the first half. Yeah, you really have to question the decision making here. You're saying that you're not going to trust your special teams, but now you put all the pressure on your defense. In my mind, a big advantage to this offensive unit with their running game against a defensive unit that has a tough time stopping the run. Their front seven needs to get more aggressive. We need to get to jump on those offensive tackles and force them to get their inside foot back so they can take off in the middle. Green. And he's tackled at the 44. It's the call, picks up four, maybe five there. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on their own 44. Pressure with the pass. Turns, he has it. Here's an open. And he's brought down at the 42 yard line. Now, this is one heck of a play. Look at him. You're in a hole here on third down. And they come through with this perfect play that gets him a first and keeps the drive going. Call this defense here. First and 10. Ball on the 42 yard line. He'll get it again. Just about seven yards on that carry. Second and maybe three. Ball on the 35-yard line. Far from the shotgun. Drops back. Pump fake. Gets rid of it. He finds his man. There he goes. The 10. Five. Touchdown, Green Bay. The quarterback delivered the ball right on time for the touchdown. Yeah, that guy knew exactly how far he had to go to cross the goal line to get in there for the score. They'll get set for the extra point. The kick is up. The point after is good. Just what they were looking for, John. Good play calling there. Key drive. Touchdown. They did everything they had to on that one. And the end result is a trip across the goal line and a TD on the board. From the 11. New Orleans heads out offensively down by seven. Number 84 on the return. McAllister, the lone back. Ball on the 25-yard line. Closing in, surveying the field, looking for the long completion down the left side. Almost got it. I like to hurry up here. It's a change of pace, and it's a way to get the defense uncomfortable. Set, hut. Hands it off to the back, the 30. Eight yard game. It's third down, two to go. Ball on their own 33. From the gun. Here comes the blitz. Looks like he just made it past the marker. He should have been stopped short, but he was able to power his way for a first down. Yeah, and you could put that one on the defense because they had a shot on him. They just couldn't bring him down. At the end of one, these teams are separated by just a touchdown with the score. Green Bay, seven. New Orleans, zero. The teams have switched sides, and we'll start the second quarter. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 36. They'll pass on first down. Again with the carry. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. Dallas couldn't find an opening and was brought down very quickly. Yeah, he was. This line has to do a better job of holding up at the point of attack. He has a fast first step. He could have through the hole. 
and he needs a line to create that little crease or cut back lane to break free. And they hurry up to the line. And this is the sixth play of this drive. They give it to the halfback. Plows it there. And the halfback picks up about three. Fourth and ten. All on the 36-yard line. Set! Pressure coming. It's rid of it. A little off target, but caught. Now watch how they get out of a jam. They're looking at a fourth and long situation here. And they call the perfect play at the perfect time. He makes one heck of a throw, and he gets it past the marker to keep him going. Everything had to work on that one, and everything did. The bats are lined up in an eye. He gets the carry, and he's brought down at the 45. Gain of two. Try not to get too predictable out there. Make sure you got a good mix of run and pass. Brooks gets set. Crosses it left. Breaks the tackle. Carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. Need a good release on this pass. Keep this drive moving. Drops back. Rowing. Now this is one heck of a play. Look at it. They're in a hole here on third down. And they come through with this perfect play that gets them a first and keeps the drive going. Tell your line to protect here. Tell your line to protect every play, not just here. You need to get some time back there and let someone get open. To the air on first down. Gets rid of it. Almost intercepted. They'll call this play at the line of scrimmage. The intended receiver on the play. Set. Hut. McAllister. <clears throat> Running back picks up about four yards. They need six. Ball on the 23-yard line. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Give it to the halfback. The Dallas couldn't get out of the backfield. That was just a defensive line getting lower than the offensive line. When your defensive guys up front can control the line of scrimmage, it makes it very difficult to move the ball on offense. Hart will attempt to put up the first points of the day. Up. The kick was wide and off the mark. Green, the lone ten. back. Ball on the 31 yard line. <laughs> Under pressure, he's tackled behind the line. Good play call by the defensive coordinator. He knows exactly how to take advantage of his personnel. He always puts him in position to make big plays out there, whether it's rushing the quarterback or playing in pass coverage downfield. With the throw, this pass is incomplete. He barely got that one off. He had no choice but to get rid of the ball. A smart coach would call this play. Drops back. Surveying the field. Gets the pass off, and he steps out of bounds at the 37-yard line. You talk about great concentration. Watch this. He's able to keep his feet in bounds, make the catch on a perfectly placed pass. Offense couldn't get it done, and they'll line up the punt. Here's the punt. Fair catch. That's a good job of getting downfield by the cover team to force the fair catch. An effective two-minute drill will give them the opportunity to put some points on the board before the half. Gives the ball off. Great play in the backfield. We were waiting for him as he tried to take it to the outside. And that run started off going east and west, which isn't bad. But then it got worse, and it went south. McAllister. Green Bay pulls a timeout. That's their first. 
If they're going to get the first here, they'll need their offensive line to maintain their block and give the quarterback enough time to make a good throw. I think this defense looks forward to these third down situations because they've been stopping them today. Time for a punt here as it's now fourth down. Dropping back, pressure steps up into the pocket, looking deep to the right. So in an effort to keep the drive alive and pick up some points, they go for it, and the plan backfires. Yeah, and to gamble so early in a game can really set your team back if you can't convert. They're close enough where they really don't need to rush what they do, so I'd be surprised to see the no huddle from them here in the red zone. They'll pass on first down. Closing in, throwing. Incomplete pass. And that brings up second down. The defense has an advantage when the offense gets here in the red zone. The field is much shorter, so they can do some things and not be worried about giving up a long play. They might try to bring a blitz and blow this play up in the backfield. Rosen, pass ball's incomplete. That incomplete pass will bring up third down. Third and long now. Let's see what kind of a pass play they go with to try to convert. It's the pass off. This one falls incomplete. He's out of rhythm on this drive. Can't seem to get it going. I tell you. They're given a lot of different looks on this drive. And the quarterback's having a tough time adjusting on those last few passes. Ryan Longwell lines up for about a 36-yard field goal attempt. And it's on its way. A nice kick, and it's good. Longwell will be kicking off. And a short kickoff. From the 13. The Saints will start the drive from 29. We're guessing they're going to just throw it and do their best to move into scoring range since they don't want to go into the half with the score the way it is. Only one man in the backfield. The pressure coming. Throws it. The pass ball's incomplete. He overthrows his attempt. There was no way he was going to get to that one. Green Bay comes out in their nickel pack. Under pressure, stepping up, and he's tackled behind the line. It's now third and long after the sack. A little over a minute left. Pressure, looking downfield, trying something to the left. He's there for the catch. So we have first and ten here. Ball on the 42-yard line. To the air on first down. He surveys the field, steps up into the pocket. Previous home, hustling on every play, and it's resulted in three sacks. The offense is going to have to do something, because this guy is just having his way with him out there. Closing in. He's looking. With a deep throw to the right side. Pass ball's incomplete. I'll tell you, here's a defensive lineman's green. Third and long, and he knows they have to pass. Brooks gets set, hands it off. Carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. The Packers expecting pass as they line up with seven defensive backs. The pressure coming, surveying the field, going for the deep man. He made the count. First and ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. Passing on first down. Gets the pass off. Breaks free. That blitz exploited for a first down. Yeah, the quarterback did a heck of a job to read what the defense was doing and find the right guy. The defense digging in. Huge goal line stand here. If they can somehow hold him to only a field goal, that would be a huge lift going into halftime. Gain of two. So it's second and goal. Two yards to the goal line. The Saints call a timeout. That's their third and final timeout. This will be a 19-yard field goal attempt. And it's up. 
the kick sails through the upright. It's the end of the second quarter with the score. Green Bay 10, New Orleans 3. Back to the game. So before we start the third quarter, here's a quick look at how both teams have fared in the first half. Not a real deep kick. Should be returned. From the 16. Green Bay, he's still up by seven. Number 83 on the return. Only one man in the backfield. Ball on the 28-yard line. Aimed it off to the back. About a two-yard gain here. This is a good defense to call. Far with a man in motion. Crosses it out to the left. It's one, maybe two yards on the toss. Let's go to Melissa. Hi, Al. The Saints coach knows that they could see a lot more of the ground game here in the second half as the other team tries to protect its lead. His defense has done very well stopping the run so far. We'll have to see how long that can last. Al? Thanks, Melissa. Bosses it right. Only a yard by the halfback. One yard gain on the play. So the lineup to punt after going three and out. Here's the kick. Andy waves for the fair catch. Hey, no reason to take a chance and risk a fumble. Smart move there by the returner. McAllister, the deep man. Ball on the 34-yard line. McAllister. Decent game, about four. On the carry, game of four on the play. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Ball on the 39-yard line. Set. Drops back, under pressure, gets the pass off, and he'll take it out of bounds. At the 43. Just about five on that pass, John. That was a pretty good play. The defense brought a few extra guys, but the line did a pretty good job of picking it up, giving them just enough time to find the open man. Pickup of about a yard in the run. Green Bay comes out in their nickel pack. Brooks sets up. Looking to run it here. So he's picked up some good yardage and a first down on that run. When your back can get good chunks of yardage like that, you know who to give it to when you need a first down. They'll go from the I formation. He tucks it away. Four yard gain there. Look at that defense over there. You own these guys if you can just execute. A lot of speed on the field for the defense as they line up in the quarter. Anderson got up and knocked that pass away. He has a great feel for defending the pass. And he always seems to be in great position to make a play in the ball. Gets the toss to the left. The Dallas was stuffed on that play, John. They're just relentless when the offense decides to run the ball. They break down blocks very quickly. And they do a good job maintaining their gap assignments Limiting cutback opportunity. With the throw. And caught a tremendous catch. Watch how they get it done when the pressure's on. It's fourth down. They just call a great play. And he puts the ball right where it needs to be to pick up that first down. Set. Only one man back. Oh. To the air on first down. Pressure. And he's hit as he throws. Incomplete pass. The good pass rush forces the erratic pass. He really had to rush that throw. That was a situation where the defensive line made the job easy for the defensive back. Dropping back, hands it off. Picks up maybe three on that carry. 
one. They need seven. Ball on the 32-yard line. This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. It's the toss to the right. Carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. This is going to be about a 45-yard field goal attempt. The kick is up. And the kick sails wide. He's failed to convert for a second time. Franks, the motion man. Going to the right. Good play in the backfield by Hodge. Loss of around two. You should stop it with this play. Far sets up. They give it to the halfback with the pass. So he can't come up with it. That's the old rule. If you get your hands on it, you got to catch it. And they'll face a long third down here. Ball on their own 33. Throws it. Great pass. Amazing play by driver. And that's the type of thing that can happen when you get this guy the ball. He's going to move the ball, and he's going to move it with speed. Green. Stiff arm to the defender to the ground. So that was a pickup of about nine. You should stop it with this play. Second and one coming up. Ball on the 31-yard line. With the throw, this one falls incomplete. Third down upcoming after that incomplete pass. Crosses it right. Breaks free. This appears to be of the five-yard variety. I'll tell you, these face masks are getting so big that you can start off going for a jersey and end up with a handful of face masks. And welcome back. It's first and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. With the carry, Green couldn't escape the pursuit and was cut down quickly. These guys up front are very tough to block because they can use their size and strength to get excellent leverage on running plays. Sometimes they struggle a little with their consistency, but they always seem to be a big factor when the game's on the line. And he gets the delayed handle. Not much there, maybe a yard. Try this call here. It's third down and they have a long way to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. Drops back, closing in, gets the pass off. He got his hands on it, but the pass falls incomplete. Maybe he heard footsteps. Ryan Longwell comes in for what will be a 35-yard field goal attempt. And it's up. Longwell bangs it right through and adds another three to their total. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Panthers ahead of the Saints, 13-3. And we'll start the fourth quarter. Here's the kickoff team. Short kickoff. From the 16. New Orleans, down by two touchdowns, takes over on offense. McAllister, the lone back. Pass play here on first down. Tossing it over the middle. And it's caught. Brooks really put his body into that throw. This quarterback has all the tools. A rocket arm, 
and he never makes a wrong read. First and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Set. Bill Pace on first down. Steps up into the pocket. Gets the pass off. Breaks free. The 10. Touchdown, Saints. Long touchdown pass. Yeah, the quarterback delivered that ball out there where he had some room to work with. Once he got free, it was off to the races. So they're trying to tack on the extra point. The kick is up, and he tacks on the extra point. A good-looking drive, and they score the touchdown. The offensive unit should be very pleased with their performance on that one. The thing that most impressed me about that last drive was the offensive line. They did a good job controlling the line of scrimmage, keeping their quarterback healthy and on his feet. A strong offensive line is the first and most important component to an effective offense. From the five. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. First and ten. Far sets up. Gets rid of it. This one falls incomplete, and that pass is dropped. The throw was right there, but he couldn't make the catch. This is one of those guys who's working really hard to improve himself. Every now and then, he'll let one bounce off his hands like that, but most of the time, you can rely on him to make the catch when you really need it. Pressure coming. Gets the pass off. This pass is incomplete. Almost, but no catch. There's just no excuse for that. He's getting paid a lot of money to make those catches. They'll go from the I formation. Ball on the 25-yard line. Green. Just about a yard on the run. On the carry, one yard gain on the play. So three and out, and they'll line up to punt. Here's the punt. He signals for a fair catch. He did the right thing, concentrated and caught the ball. Be patient out there. When you see an opportunity, that's when you attack. But don't force it. Brooks, get set. McAllister. He goes down at the 40. McAllister couldn't pick up any blocking on that play. The defense is always very aggressive when defending the run. They're extremely disciplined. They get off their blocks very quickly. Makes it tough to find yeah. openings when you're running the ball. Huh. Dropping back under pressure, surveying the field. Launches this one to the right. Third down, upcoming after that long pass falls incomplete. So they dug themselves into a hole here, a long third down situation. Green Bay comes out in their nickel package. Get to get the call. Clears the defender. He made some great moves to pick up the first and kept on going. Well, it's apparent this guy doesn't tire out in the second half, especially after seeing him run like that. Ball on the 41-yard line. Set. Very little blocking to work with on that play. Yeah, that's just great play from the defense. They play with great leverage up front and always seem to get penetration. When you have defenders in the backfield, it makes it very difficult to run or pass. Tossing it over the middle. The incomplete pass brings up third down. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Hands it off to the back. Just won't go down. That will keep the chains moving. Yeah, that makes two times in this drive they've given up the first down on third down. As a defensive coordinator, giving up those types of yards will drive you absolutely nuts. And this is the seventh play of this drive. With the throw, he's having a tough time getting anything going on this drive. You have to give credit to the defense out there. Those last few times he dropped back to throw, he didn't look comfortable. 
And that's because they did a good job confusing him with their scheme and their coverage. McKenzie just made a great defensive play. He has to do a better job of looking off the coverage before he makes a throw like that. And they go with a no huddle. He'll get the ball again. Gets the throw, picks up four, maybe five there. The pressure is on. This kick would give us a tie game. And it's up. The try is good. Another one that goes through. His second of the day. The kickoff team lines up. Number 89. Back to return. He kicks a low line drive. From the one yard line. The defense did a great job on the last series, forcing the offense to go three and out. Call this defense here. Hand it off. They'll mark it at the 26 yard line. Green in the backfield. Pressure with the pass. This pass is incomplete. Ooh, what a huge hit to cause the incompletion. Yeah, so good it knocked the ball right out of his hands. Hand it off again. Gain of a couple on that count. Two minutes to go. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to run it away here. Here's the kick. And he chooses not to return this one. That was a smart thing to do with the coverage team closing in for a big hit. First and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. Set. Pulls it. Only a yard by the halfback. Get the pass and look to the sideline. You can't let the clock run down here. Rolling right. Throws it. Incomplete pass. Here's a big play for the offense. If they can get the first, then they're in pretty good spot to get the field goal. But if they don't pick it up, they give the other guys a shot to win this thing. Receives the handle. Runs over the top. McAllister was picked up now over 100 yards on the ground. It looks like it's all about defense now. If they want to see overtime, they'll need to step it up. A deep punt here could pin them, and sometimes that can be your best defense. Brooks sets up, and off to the tailback. Down he goes at the 42-yard line. They'll head right back to the line. Set! Give it to the halfback. A five-yard pickup on that run by the tailback. Five yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Hand it off. Breaks the tackle. Steel rolls the defender. They blitz in the back line. Yeah, that's a chance you take. You're hoping to get some penetration and hit him in the backfield. But if you miss, there isn't a lot of help at the next level to keep him from picking up the first down. Hand it off to the back. Green Bay calls a timeout. They have none left. Only one man back. Ball on the 22-yard line. They give it to the halfback. Great blocking up front to open up a hole that big. Yeah, it was all north-south running there. Not a lot of side to side. And that's exactly what you have to do to get the first. He tucks it away, runs through the tackle, and he's tackled at the 11-yard line. When you have a guy who can carry the ball for over 100 yards a game, you have half of what you need on offense to get to the Super Bowl.
The Saints the call a timeout. a timeout. They have two left. About a 28-yard field goal here as they line up for the kick. The kick is up, and he made it. It's over. The final score is New Orleans 16, Green Bay 13. Green Bay 13. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports. Former fourth rounder out of Virginia wins today's horse trailer award for player of the game.